hey, this is Raul, please act right. First off, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, to all the new subscribers, and those of you all who have been around for a while, because I just hit 50,000 subscribers. Please know that you're greatly appreciated for watching, leaving comments with your thoughts, and hitting the like button and subscribing. Your generosity and support is not being taken for granted. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your continued support. And if you haven't already, like Poor Man Podcast said, give me the HBO special. What's up, YouTube? Poor Man Podcast back with another video. Give me the HBO special. That's the Help of a Dial special. Hit the like and subscribe button for more content. Help me get to 60,000 subscribers by June the 1st. I'll give you a second to do that for me. Thanks. And now today's video, which is part three of why I had to leave this beautiful woman, the saga continues. Dun, dun, dun. If you haven't seen the first one, you might want to check it out so that the rest of these make sense to you. I put a link in the description box below so that it'll take you to my playlist so you can watch them in order. And here we go. Every time I turn around, this woman was mad at me over the silliest things. Mostly things that I had no control of. And here's yet another video proving my point. So this video is called The Middle Age Waitress. So it was 1990 and I lived with this beautiful woman in Tampa, Florida while I was still in the military. Her whole family was cool, so I didn't mind spending time with her. She told me that they planned to go to a restaurant for Mother's Day and asked if I wanted to go. And of course, I said yes. So it was her mother, her two aunties, her sister, her, and myself attending. The day started out great. The ride to the restaurant was great, and it was a great restaurant. We get there, and the maitre d' met us at the door. Uh, party of six, please. Yes, and we are hungry. And walked us to our table. We sit down and open the menus to see what we wanted to order. Then, the waitress, a middle-aged woman, who was probably in her mid-40s, came over to the table to take our orders. Now, mind you, I was 25 years old at the time, and my girl was about 28. I was sitting at the end of the table when the waitress walked up and stood to the left of me and my girl was sitting to the right. We had already looked over our menus and knew what we wanted to order. So the waitress started taking orders with the women first, of course. One after the other, she took their orders until she got to me. Then she asked me, and what would you like, hon? While she was staring at her notepad. I gave her my order and everyone passed their menus down to me. I stacked them neatly and handed them to her. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll be back with all you all's orders shortly. She said while smiling and glancing at everybody at the table and walked away. There was a pleasant conversation going around the table from the minute we sat down. Even my woman was laughing and smiling, talking to me and everybody else at the table. But after the waitress left, I noticed she wasn't talking to me anymore. I felt like something was up, so I decided to test her. So, uh, how you doing? Fine, she said quick, fast, and in a hurry without even looking at me. Now I'm sitting there trying to figure out what the hell did I do this time? I mean, she just started talking to me again after being mad at me for three days because she asked me what the weather was going to be. And I told her it was supposed to be sunny, but it was cloudy all day. I mean, I was just repeating what the weatherman said on the news. And it looks like we're right back to this same nonsense again. And I don't even know what the hell I did. Look, y'all, like I said, every time you turn around, here we go with the same being mad at me BS. I mean, this chick's mood would change like flicking a light switch. One second, she was a ray of sunshine. The next, she's dark and mean. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna talk to everybody else at the table. I'm not even gonna deal with this right now. Not only did she not talk to me anymore at the restaurant, she didn't talk to me on the ride home or for the rest of the day. Keep in mind, I don't have a clue of what the hell she tripping on. That night, we got into bed. I asked her again, what's wrong? And she gave me the quick, nothing, again. Then why aren't you talking to me? She didn't answer. She was quiet for a few minutes, so I figured she wasn't gonna answer. So I lay down and went to sleep with my back to her. And then she says, that waitress calling you hun and sweetheart with me sitting right next to you. She got some nerve and you ain't no better. She disrespected me and you left her a big tip. I sat up in the bed like, let me get this right. You're mad at me because some woman who I probably never see again called me hun and sweetheart. She called me hun because she didn't know my name. She called me sweetheart because I collected the menus and handed them to her. So she didn't have to do it. And as far as the tip is concerned, I left her a 10% tip. I didn't have any problems with her service, and I ain't hear nobody else complain. That woman probably has a husband and kids at home. She wasn't even thinking about me. But let you tell it, she's an evil woman disrespecting you and after your man. Now check this out, y'all. 
This was the same waitress that came back to the table with our food and never said anything else directly to me for the rest of the time when we were there. That woman wasn't thinking about me. She didn't say anything else while we was in the bed. I didn't say anything else. We fell asleep. This woman did not talk to me for three days days after that. I mean, this apartment wasn't even that big. Can you imagine living with somebody for three days and they don't want to talk to you about something you had no control of? I'm pretty sure there are a few men out there who know what I'm talking about. I mean, what exactly was I supposed to do when the woman said, and what would you like, hon? Hey, hey, don't be calling me hon. I ain't your hon. Don't you see this fine woman sitting here? Wrong with you. Now, I'll have the T-bone steak. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Hey, 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 don't be calling me sweetheart. I got a mind to give you a open hands slapping them out and get in that kitchen and hurry up and get us our food hurry up seriously what was i supposed to say to be honest with you i didn't even hear her say hon because i wasn't even thinking on that level that this woman was trying to hit on me see where i come from older women call everybody hon and sweetheart it was what they call a term of endearment when they don't know your name this was yet another one of the utterly ridiculous things that i was putting up with from this woman why did i stick around I was young and didn't know any better. But also, there was something else that I didn't tell you all. She had a seven-year-old daughter, and me and her was like peas and carrots. And whether you're in a relationship living with somebody or you're in a marriage, you know how it goes. The kids are the ones who always suffer when a divorce or separation happens. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I really hung in there. Her daughter's father lived in another state. He never called. He never came around. And that child loved me like I was her own father. So that was a big part of it. You know how they say it, it was complicated. However, I did leave her one time for about two weeks before I finally left her permanently. And that's what you're gonna hear about in the next video, which I entitled, Walking in Heels. You about to see how ridiculous this woman was. Ladies, if a woman is hitting on your man, which that waitress wasn't, and your man does not respond back to her, how the hell you gonna get mad at your man? You supposed to be mad at her. And then to give your man the silent treatment for three days? Really? I look at it this way. What woman walking this earth wants a man that no other woman wants? Hell, if you picked a man that no other woman wants, you might have picked the wrong man. You better take it as a compliment and go sit your ass down somewhere. Hey. Somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? See you in the next episode next Sunday. My name is Raul. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.